Hey you guys, it's Karen and it is time for an empties. Um, it empties and fails, but it's not too full, so I should be able to give you a bit more than a, just a brief description of each one. Um, let me start with this one because I won't go too in depth about this one. This is a conditioner by Superdrug Me Plus, the Me Plus range. Um, but I just spoke about this in my favourites and I absolutely adore it. And what I didn't mention in my favourites actually was this pump dispenser is really, really good because um, I've got one by Moroccan Oil, a pump dispenser shampoo, and it's just rubbish. The pump dispenser is awful. Uh, same with like, I've got a couple of hand washes where the pump dispenser is terrible, but this is really, really good. So it's really handy. So love that. By contrast, this is not one I would buy again at all. This is the Colour Wow Money Mask. Um, I talked about this when I did the Colour Wow Hits and Misses and you know in that I was saying it smells lovely it does make my hair smell smell it makes my hair feel nice um, but it's expensive I think it was £40 at the time I bought this I remember I was like I'm prepared to spend whatever at the moment on my hair because I keep going through these phases of my hair just feeling thinner than it should not not blow drying right you know I'll blow dry it and go no nope, it looks kind of there's a lot of flyaways it looks kind of kinky you know there's bits i can't get straight or it just doesn't look healthy to me it doesn't look how i used to be able to blow dry it um and so yeah i've been using this but it's just it's kind of difficult to get through my hair um i feel like i have to use a lot even for me um, because it doesn't seem to spread very well through the hair and although it does make my hair feel nice the feeling doesn't last that long and like I said, you can buy this and this one really wowed me. This one was just okay. This one was 40 quid and I don't know how much this one was, but it's a drugstore one, you know? So that's not a repurchase for me. Another essential is this, the Alpachin Caffeine Shampoo. I bought, I bought another bottle of this already and at the same time I bought another bottle of this because it's another one I can't do without. As soon as I stop using this, I notice more hairs like everywhere, you know? Um, I just seem to be shedding all over the place. But as soon as I use this, it sort of slows it down. Um, I've always lost a lot of hair, you know, and there's always been a lot of hair in my hairbrush and hairs everywhere, but um, this definitely reduces it back to a normal level. That's everything for hair care. So onto skincare. This is the simple micellar water. Do you remember I showed you in my simple haul? And yeah, I really liked this. I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I have got several micellar waters that I like. I like the Superdrug Be Pure one. I like this one, the Belly, um, just the Billy Micellar Water, it's an Amazon brand. I like this one because it smells of cucumber. That's one of the things that attracts me to it. But yes, I would definitely um, repurchase that because none of the ones that I like leave any kind of residue feeling on your face. This is a fail. This is the Sally Hughes Butter Clean. I think I did talk about this briefly, didn't I? And I was gonna try and use this up. Oh, that smells like soap, it smells like Dove soap. Um, I never noticed that before. But I've been trying to use this up and it's just it's just not for me. Firstly, I can't use it on my eyes, which is where I would generally use these type of cleansers. You know, I would use them to take all my eye makeup off. This stings my eyes and it also makes my eyes sort of all misty afterwards. You know, I can't get rid of the residue, it's gone right into my eyes. Um, but the other thing is, I was just trying to use it to take my face makeup off, but it, it sort of doesn't melt as good as it should. You know, normally when you mix this with a bit of water, it sort of turns to milk, but this leaves sort of lumps on your face and it's just, just not for me, this, unfortunately, it is a fail. I don't like to waste things like that. I haven't yet thought of a use for that. Normally I can find a use for things that, like if I, if I don't use a shampoo, I use that to clean my bathroom. That's what my nan always did and it works pretty well for me. I used up this Garnier Ombre Solaire um, Anti-Age Super UV SPF 50. Um, this was okay. I can't remember if I did a whole video on this, but um, yeah, it was nice enough, but it's got an ingredient in it that I don't like. I can't remember if it's Octisalate or Octinoxate, one of those, um, but it was pretty nice. So it's a pretty good drugs, drugstore choice. I used up my Glossier Milky Oil. Is that called milky oil yeah milky oil waterproof makeup remover this is really really good you just shake it it's got a little squirty end which i like and it just wipes off eye makeup and all makeup just effortlessly so i love that this is another cleanser this is one i would buy the big size i bought a little um trial set you may remember of elf stuff so there was this there was the did i buy a trial or did i just buy deluxe sample sizes anyway this is the pure skin cleanser and i would definitely buy the bigger one of this if I run out of cleansers I've got quite a lot of cleansers to get through actually but this one was nice and I felt really gentle didn't leave my skin feeling tight at all not when I would use on my eyes like I said I would use it for a second cleanse um 
rinsed away lovely just just felt really nice that one i have used up my ethylated ascorbic acid by the ordinary um this is one i would repurchase i've repurchased this many many times um i'm just i'm not going to repurchase it right now because i'm i go through phases of enjoying things that are sort of oily feeling and then going you know what i don't need anything oily on my skin um my skin has been really dry lately but i haven't been using oils as much um, and I've been really enjoying some of the vitamin C's I've got that aren't oily so I'm not going to repurchase it right now but I'm sure I will in the future. Um, this is the Niod hydration vaccine. I should have mentioned this in, oh there's a little bit a little bit left in the lid there. Oh, I would not waste any of this that's for sure. I thought I'd got it all out. I'd obviously used the spoon to get it all out and put it in the the rim and then thought I'd used it all there's definitely none in the bottom um, this hydration vaccine is amazing and I should have mentioned this really in my dry skin favorites but the only thing I would say is it doesn't I don't feel like this restores my skin and my skin is dry in the uh, hydrated in the long term if that makes sense so I can use this I've used this to seal in oils before and I've used it on its own and it's, it really does make your skin feel amazing while you're using it. But the minute I stop using it, I don't feel the effect. I feel like my skin goes back to being dry, um, but I do love it. It's the most unique moisturiser I've used, the most unique night cream I've used. It feels, feels quite silicone-y, but it sort of almost feels matte when it goes on and, but your skin feels so, so silky soft as soon as it goes on and it feels really nourishing. It is, it is something to treat yourself to if you have dry skin and see if it's something that works for you, you know, I love it. I've got the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow. Um, this is something that I have repurchased many times and I do really enjoy. And it's something that I had said to you guys, that I, I miss it when I'm not using it. You know, I, I noticed when I stopped using it because vitamin C hasn't been an essential for me, but I, I missed it being in my routine. Um, however, I have been using vitamin C derivatives for the last few weeks and haven't missed this as much. So I don't know whether that's just, I'm not sure why. Well, I'll continue using my derivatives and see see how I feel without using this. Um, but I definitely would repurchase this. It's a really good, if you want to use an ascorbic acid, this Geek and Gorgeous, in my opinion, is the best one. So non-irritating, but still it's the right pH. And I to remember I tested the pH when I was like two thirds of a way through a bottle and it still held its pH. It's really, really good formula. Did I talk to you about this, this hair care one? I can't remember if I did because I've had to record this a couple of times, but this is um, a, a hair care item. It's the Superdrug Me Plus Hyaluronic Acid Antifrizz Serum. And to remember I was saying, this is the same range as this. Um, and I bought this and I love this, but this was a fail for me. I used it the first time and was like, oh, okay, my hair looks nice and smooth. It does look a bit kind of antifrizz, you know, it smooths everything, everything down. But my hair kind of felt, I was like, it doesn't feel freshly washed after putting this on you put it on damp hair and then blow dry your hair and I was like my hair doesn't feel freshly washed and by the following day my hair just felt horrible and I was like is it this so I tried it again and it is this and I just that's a deal breaker for me it just made my hair feel sort of dirty and no didn't like that at all it's funny because I've only used one other hyaluronic acid and it was the one from the inky list I think and I didn't enjoy that one either I have finally used up my Saint Tropez self tan purity vitamins this is my kind of holy grail self tanner um, but i just showed in the favorites actually my saint tropez these are called Lux tan drops these are ones you mix um, and this one is already kind of pre-mixed so i suppose for ease of use i'll probably end up with this there's a little bit left in the in the bottle here but this has taken me so long to use like i've had this for i feel like years it's been at least a year possibly two and i bought a new bottle not so long ago thinking it would run out because i use this like twice a week but you only need like one or two pumps maximum and it's so slippy it, it is it's so easy to, to distribute on your face and neck um and yeah you don't need to use very much but i thought to myself I just feel like this bottle is never ending. I I'm going to start using my new one, you know. Um, so I decided to put it in Momenties and Fails because I also felt like I put it on a couple of times and was like, I don't know if the colour is as deep as it should be. And I was convinced then that this had just gone past its sell-by date, you know. Um, and I didn't want the same thing to happen to the other one, the new bottle just sitting there, you know. It's not sitting in the light or anything, but anyway, this is amazing. It, it, it's Saint-Tropez, I love Saint-Tropez for myself tan. It's the best one to me, they don't fade. Patchy, they, there is a really beautiful color. Really love it. Makeup, um, this is the number seven Hydroluminous Moisturizing Foundation. I finally used this up. This is in Calico, which is my color when I'm sort of lighter. Um, and I've talked about this in a favorites 
a couple of times, I think, because this is what I love for an everyday foundation. I haven't used it for a while, actually, because I've got a couple of others that I'm also enjoying for everyday, like the Ordinary and the Catrice one that I've got on today, actually. Um, but this one is really nice. If you've got dry skin and you want a moisturising foundation that is not luminous or dewy this would be for you because it's really moisturizing it doesn't cling to any dry patches or anything like that um but it's not going to give you any sort of dewiness i don't think I, for me it doesn't anyway i like my, my skin to be matte um the other thing about it is that it is it, it feels really lightweight and you put it on and you don't think it's going to give you much coverage but it actually does I would say you could get a medium coverage from this um, or you could you know shear it out and it'd be light coverage so that's really nice because it feels so lightweight it barely feels like you've got any foundation on so again if you don't like the feeling of a lot of foundations this one is nice and lightweight but still gives you coverage this is the uh, 17 extreme extension mascara that I mentioned was amazing what did I do that for? I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that with a brush, aren't you? This is the brush. <laughs> um, this is amazing for the price, absolutely amazing, and I still think it is. However, uh, what I've noticed with this is that as it's aged, and I can't remember how long ago my 17 video was. I did a video, I did a big haul, didn't I? Um, a couple of months, was it? As it is aged, it started to flake on me. So it's not one that will last you very long, but when it, for the time it does last you it's amazing it's absolutely amazing you know for the first little while it didn't flake it didn't smudge it didn't do anything now it's flaking a little bit but you know i think it was like was it like 3.99 or something ridiculous so i will definitely buy this again um and i have no problem with that you know because mascaras don't last that long anyway do they this is the Too faced killer kajal um it's just a black cold pencil and it did not work for me very well at all um it just it's supposed to last 12 hours, I think. Yeah, 12 hours, but it didn't last even a couple of hours for me. Um, this is, oh, this is a Kiko, this is a fail actually. It's a Kiko eye pencil. And I know you guys love the Kiko eye pencils and a lot of you had recommended them when I was saying how I love my Laura Mercier one. Um, and so I've bought a couple of the Kiko ones. They're really, really nice. They work really well, but some of them have got glycerin and that's not that's a deal breaker for me i want something that's completely smooth and so i've still got another couple you know i went in and bought quite a few of these i still got another couple to try um this one is 04 and it's just got a little bit of sparkle in it which is no good for me so that one's a fail but only on that sparkle which probably won't bother most people and it's not really highly sparkly or anything you can barely see it but it's enough that it would irritate my eyes whether you can even see it in there it doesn't look like it at certain angles but it has it's definitely got sparkle in it um and like i said sparkly stuff irritates my eyes lately this is the elf power grip primer this is one where i was just taken in by the marketing because i just don't use primers i just i got this and was like right you've bought this bloom and use it you know <laughs> and so i used it for a few days but i was just i was then starting to reach for it and thinking i don't know whether it works or not maybe a little bit not enough that I'm like oh wow this is amazing but it's really tricky because if I was working when I was working in the hospital and in my little office all day or you know working all day I would only touch my makeup up I would have a look at lunchtime maybe you know have a look in my little hand mirror and see if I was greasy or how my foundation was looking or if anything was running or whatever you know but I don't do that anymore I'm at home so I don't really there's not many occasions where I need it to last. Uh, maybe when I meet my friend for lunch, that's, I, you know, I leave the house at like nine in the morning and don't get home until about five o'clock. Um, I should try it on that day and see how it holds my foundation on. But I'll forget if I'm only using it that sporadically. You know, a bear and I, I usually use a setting spray on that day. Um, so yeah, I can't really report back on it, I'm afraid. Um, and it's one of these things I know I'll keep it because I don't want to throw it away in case... Who knows i might get back into um working although i think i'd go back to work part-time but i can't really tell you much about it but it did have really good reviews the final product is one i would definitely repurchase and i was actually i was looking forward to getting to the end of this because it's another one i've had for years this is the photography fluid tan opacity eight percent by niod this to me is the best bronzer ever it actually looks an odd color there but see on i just feel like this is the nicest color for me it seems to suit me the best um and i 
use this like every day for a long long time and then I'll I'll sort of stop and try another bronzer that I've bought and then go oh no I want to go back to using this you know so I use this after my foundation but before powder normally here I haven't used that today um but well because I don't have another bottle I need to reorder this what I said to myself was before you reorder a new bottle you need to use the liquid and cream bronzers that you've got and decide whether or not you're going to keep them or not you know because otherwise I just end up using this constantly um so I'm going to try that try and use up I've got one by Drunk Elephant I've got one by Indeed Labs I've got a Revolution cream bronzer you know I've got quite a few that I need to figure out if, if I'm keeping okay that's everything for my empties I hope that you enjoyed that um, I'll list all of my makeup in the description as always and I'll switch to you again soon